Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Me, Myself, and I Gaming channel. And, yes, welcome back. Uh, I have to start out and apologize for yesterday's video. That was bad. That's what happens when you don't eat anything all day and then decide that you want a liquid lunch. Ow! Go away. Burn. And then you decide that you would like to have a liquid lunch. Yes, it just... <laughs> it ended poorly. To say the least, really. Um, oh, was that it? Well, that was uneventful. Well, take this crap back then. Um, so yes, I apologize. And today I really am going to talk about what happened to me at Megacon. Because yesterday, I just sort of mumbled to myself. And three... Three... Three things happened to me that are highlights of my weekend. Uh, two of them are very channel-specific. Kind of. One and a half of them are very channel-specific. The first thing... Um, little short story. I was there. And I'm, I'm going through the dealer room. Uh... In case any of you who have never been to a convention before, they tend generally set up a dealer room for people with things to sell, artists who want to sell stuff, uh, comic book stores can uh, reserve special placements in order to sell comic books. Um, it's that sort of deal. So, I was wandering through the dealer room, going up and down the aisles, um, and I was with a buddy of mine, and we came across a booth um, for a video game that, a, like, a handful of guys, it was like five people there, had developed this game. And it's a side-scroller action-adventure fighting game. Uh, not the most um, exciting of genres, but it had, it from the bits and pieces that they had shown us, it looked to be pretty promising. And the reason why this is... Oh, no, Creeper! Creeper's like, oh, yes! Oh, yes! We're just gonna have to fill this in real quick. Anyway, so the... the so, they were having a... You could pre-order their game. Yes, that's where I was going with this. You could pre-order their game, and they would start sending you the alphas that they had developed. The game had, wasn't even in a beta yet. It was really early in development. And if you had pre-ordered it, they would send you um, alpha game files via email. And I'm like, hell yeah. I would love to be a part of your development team. I shouldn't say development team. I'd love to be part of your beta testing team. And then I asked them all in there. I'm like, I have this YouTube channel. Am I allowed to post what you got on the YouTube channel, and they're like, we would love that. That would be awesome. Um, crap, I've run out of room. I really have. This is bad. Huh? Nope, not that one. Throw as many swords in here as I can. Throw the bow and arrows in there. Lots of bows and arrows. Um, I asked him if I could... Yeah, I got to that point. And they're like, we would love for you to post our stuff on your YouTube channel. I'm like, awesome. So, come early April, very soon, I'm going to start receiving um, these... Nope, I want those. I'm going to start receiving these beta, these alpha tests. And I, I get to be a part of the testing. So, and you get to be a part of the testing. You get to tell me what you think of the game. And I think together, with a couple of the other people who might have pre-ordered, we could make this game very good. And I, well, that, I would hope to make it very good. Help to at least help out. So, that's going to happen with the channel. Uh, early April, look for that if you're interested. I know you are, because new games are always fun. I mean, we're playing Minecraft. That's pretty much how this game was developed. Oh, that's a lot of creepers. Now, the second thing that happened that's kind of important to my channel, when I was there, I'm... I wouldn't call myself a comic book nerd. Like, I like comic books. 
but I like all books. I'm not specific to any type of book. I like manga, I like comics, I like normal books. I like a... Yeah, you know what? Let's just say call it normal books. All books are normal books. But the ones without illustrations, we'll call those normal books. So I am a big comic book fan. Um, not a huge hero fan. Like, I like DC and Marvel. I like some of their books that they have. Um, I love me some Batman. Mostly because of the villains and because of the sidekicks. Not so much because of Batman. Which is weird because everyone likes Batman. Um, just don't need to light it up any further. Yeah, I do. I like I like Batman, and for Marvel, I I found that I've liked a character called Moon Knight, uh, especially Civil War Moon Knight. He's pretty freaking. He's a freaking badass. Um. So I I like superhero comics. There, there's nothing wrong with superhero comics, but I'm not a huge superhero comics fan. Like. I, it's really take it or leave it with me. It's like, eh. It, it, it just really depends on my mood. What I like more in comic books are indie comic books. And what the hell is this? This better not kill me. What I like more in comic books are indie comic books. So I was actually really excited to go through the art room and see all of the different comic books that... Wait. Hold the story. Hold the story, guys. Hope you've gotten yourself reasonably established. It gets tougher from here. These mines have long since been abandoned. They're, they are also mostly mined out. No ores left for you. Such a shame. <clears throat> so I, I like my indie comic books. Um, and I was excited. Oh, wait. All alone down here. Well, you just you and the monsters. And all the nice presents I left for you. The floor here looks scary, but it's 100% safe. You can trust me. Looking to see if I can die by walking on it. I still don't like that. Fetches, I never trust you. Oh! Okay, so, wait, wait, before we do that. Accomplishment! We made it to intersection one! Yay! Accomplishment! We made it to home base alpha, home base beta! Yay! Now I have to cart all my crap back here. Mm. I didn't bring a whole lot of torches either, so I'm actually gonna have to go back. I hear creeper. Um. Why? Why? Get in! Get in! Where did that creeper come from? Oh no! I thought you were dead. Well, that sucked. <sighs> telling a story, telling a story, telling a story, telling a story. Story time. So. Oh. Cool. So I like me's the indie comic books. I like co indie comic books a lot. So I was really looking forward to getting into the indie comic books that the art people had available for me. And now I'm wandering through, and I come, come across this one booth, and I see this awesome... What was it that- oh, it was an awesome picture of Slenderman. It was- it was like, ah, uh, I can't even describe it. I wish I had bought it, but I need to go get torches. Crap. But I didn't have the money at the time to- We're just gonna seal up this. There. I didn't have the money. Yeah, I went there a little broke, which- it wasn't intentional. I was waiting for tax return money, but that didn't come in time, so eh, whatever. So, I was saying something. Oh, so, I, I didn't have money, so I didn't pick that up. But I did stop, and I was talking to the artist, and she had a couple things to offer. She had a, um, she had a comic there, which I immediately saw that and went, I have to read this. I have to. It was called Clown Town. It was a book 
I, I I'll post the their website. I, I posted their website on my last video just because of the art, and I'll get into why I did that. Ah, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, now I know. Uh, the book was called Clown Town, and it was by Inverse Comics. That's their company name. And she's like, it's about a bunch of homicidal clowns, and I'm like, yes, please. So I picked it up, I picked up the compendium, the, the big issue of it, which also got me two of the single issues for free, along with a, um, she'd do a quick sketch on a little card. Also comes free with purchasing the compendium, and the compendium was like 20 bucks, so I'm like, that's a screaming deal, no matter who you are. You need to die just because you're wearing full gold. No. Stay away from the lava. Stay away from the lava and die. Did you really drop nothing? Stupid zombie. So I bought it. And I was there all weekend. So I, at the end of that day, I went back to my hotel room. And I, I'm like, I have nothing to do. And I am not ready for bed yet. So I, I laid down and I read the entire thing of Clown Town. Which, these weren't just killer clowns. They were, these were killer clowns. Who killed child abusers and I'm just like what and I read through it and it was actually really well written the art was an amazing and I'm just like this is probably my golden find I just ecstatic I could have gone home happy that day but I went back the next day and I asked her I asked the artist I'm like is there any way you can make me into a clown and she's like, I would love to for $40. Because nothing's free there. Oh, I forgot to start my timer. So I don't accidentally go over an hour. Because I will go over an hour. So. Mm, bam. It's going to be a long episode, people. If you weren't prepared for that, shame on you. So she turned me into a clown. And it was... It, it's now my It's now my YouTube page picture. It is the coolest thing I have ever seen like she got everything down and to start out with my hair is red and black divided right down the middle one day I got bored and I'm like I'm gonna dye my hair a crazy fucking color and I di I dyed one side red one side black and it looked looks awesome and then while I was there that Friday, I also picked up a mask for like $15 because I saw this mask. It was red on one side, black on the other, divided by little flecks of gold. And I'm like, this is so cool. This is the perfect mask for me. So I bought that um, and I had these red contacts that I've had for years now. I should probably switch them out with some newer ones, but mm, it'd be a waste. So I had one red eye, I had one black eye, my hair divided down the middle, I'm wearing this mask, and I go up to her and I asked her if she could turn me into a clown, and she did exactly that with me wearing my mask, my red eye, my my crazy colored hair. She did a wonderful job. She did. Uh, I, I could sit here and gush for the next 10 minutes just at how awesome this really was. I It was amazing. And I just went home and I'm like, I have... I, I'm like, I want to I wanna put this on everything. So I did. I First I went through and I edited it a little bit. I didn't touch the picture at all. Like, I, I took a picture of my picture and then put it on the computer. And, um... Yeah, it was going this way. So I put it on a background with my little hearts and a number in the background. I turned it into a little card just because I'm like, this will be interesting and cool and stuff and things and stuff so I have that as my background and that that made my whole weekend I like seriously I was I was I'm like yep this is this is this is it I'm done let's go home mission accomplished there is no reason for us to be here anymore um so I was ecstatic I was very happy, and I will be linking her stuff and his stuff, his being the writer. 
They have another book coming out called Roadkill about a guy who eats dead who eats things and then becomes those things like he eats a roadkill armadillo and becomes a wear armadillo and fights a crocodile and there's a voodoo priestess and i'm just like who comes up with this stuff apparently these people do and it was i'm like this is just where am i going and this was just oh it was so cool i was very happy that happened to me um Oh, I know where I am. I need to be up there. Back up the stairs. It was just the coolest thing. I really, I, I went back and I thanked him and her for their amazing work. Of course, I asked her permission if I could actually use her stuff um, on my YouTube channel, and she'd be, and she's like, "That's awesome. If you link us to your channel, we'll totally support you." And I'm like, "Ah." Awesome. So they just made my entire my entire weekend. And the third thing that happened, which is not relevant to this channel at all, but it was another one of my highlights. Um, and I'm not sure how much I want to talk about that on here. Eh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Not yet. At the con... When you when you go to a convention, whoop, double double torch my bed. When you go to a convention, you're there's all sorts of people there of all shapes and sizes, and occasionally you'll meet the cutest girl in the world, and that's what I did. I was just Everforge. I don't I want to go to Everforge. Take that block with me. And so I met this I, I met this girl. Um her name was Shay. Um and she wasn't actually there for the convention. She was actually there representing a college called Full Sail. Where did that creeper come from? No! 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 She was there representing a college. She, like, she worked for the college. She was the college admissions director. So they're creeper spawners. Oh, I'm afraid to be in this room now. Under the crafting benches? Yes. Get out of here. Go away. No one loves you, creeper spawner. So she wasn't actually there for the convention. She was just there repping a college. And I stopped at her booth because I... The Full Sail is a university for... Ah! Really? You couldn't take out the creeper spawner? Come on, creeper. Show me some love. That's not love! Oh, nope! Die! So I pretty much spent my weekend chatting with her. She was just the the coolest person at fuck. Crap. You had to spawn behind me. No. No. Creeper no creeping. Creeper creep. Frick. Where are they coming from? How many spawners are in that room? Give me a moment to catch my breath before I actually start moving on with that- NOPE! Oh, 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 oh no, no, 
I'm not I'm done with creepers. Nope. Nope. Oh, there goes my last line of defense. Oh my god. Oh, I picked a great time to start talking about my weekend now, did I not? Nope. Oh, piss off. Nobody cares about you, creepers. Don't, spiders. Yeah, spiders bad. Panic torching. Panic torching. Panic torching. Creepers. God, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. I'm done. I'm done in that area. I'm done. It's over. Go. Well, that worked out really well. I'm not going in there. I'm done. I'm going in here. I'm going in here. I'm going to sit and I'm going to think about what just happened. <gasps> oh, that iron block blew up. I could have used that. Anyway. So she was a perfectly lovely person. She was very fun to talk to. And, um... I was a coward and did nothing about it. I didn't ask her. Get your friggin' friggin'! <sighs> I didn't ask her out to lunch. I did. No! I pretty much just sort of spoke with her, and that would. No! I'm tired of creepers! Creepers are the devil! can't even get rid of a spawner. You die now, please, and thank you. So do you. No. 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 Panic torch, panic torch, panic torch. Fuck! No! This is just going to turn into a big freaking pit of hell. Let's see if we can rush it, rush it, rush it, rush it. Come on. At least that spawner's down. I don't ever want to go do through that again. I am so tired of creepers. Creepers are the worst. No! Why are you still around? Go away! 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 I'm done! It is over! Nope, 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 nope! Go on in here! I have no idea if there are spawners in here, and I really don't want to find out. So that was my weekend. Um, I don't have any food. Please tell me there's food in one of these. No! Why? Dear God! No! There's a couple of you spawning! Stop it! Die! 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 Why? You don't need two spawners! I like the way you are blarkle blarkle blark boy. Rescue those torches. Get that pumpkin pie. Get pie. Armor's still not destroyed, so that's good. Um, blocks, blocks. 
I'm tired of these now. I don't need them anymore. I'm good. Replacement boots. I don't need... Nope! Still need torches. They must still be spawning. What the hell? I don't know where they're spawning from. Oh, I need those. That. That I need. Um. Don't want that. No. Oh, I can still throw stuff in here. Uh. I'm afraid to look in chests in case something sneaks up on me. Like that! God damn it. Okay. 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 Don't know where you're spawning from. I just know that you... I... See if I can fill in this hole. Make sure they can't come back around somehow. Um. Yes, I see the coal there. I don't want it right now. I just want to secure this position. So I can at least look through these chests. Oh, hey, look. Woo! Saplings! So excited! Yeah! Man! I don't even know what to say! Woo! I'm so enthusiastic right now! Yeah, guys! I didn't even pick up any freaking chests! But, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna cut it here! Because I've pretty much just destroyed the crap out of this place. And I, I'm i so frustrated I can't even talk right now. Um, just know I had a wonderful day at MegaCon. I'm probably going to do a follow-up. I don't know why I would. There's no need to. But I'm going to do it anyway. So, meh. I'm going to do a follow-up video of just doing more MegaCon stuff. Um... Maybe I can get a few more stories in before I blow up. I don't know. I guess that's a goal. Yeah, that's the goal. Next video, I'm going to get in a few more stories before I blow up. <sighs> Creepers, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know. No. No, 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 no. So you all have a wonderful day. I, I've run this video into the dirt. Uh, bye for now.